been my uh, current mode of transportation lately because we got in a bit of a car crash while well, somebody rear-ended us and uh, yeah, made it so our car is undrivable. So we're currently in the process of getting a new car, but it's all right, going back to how I used to get around, skating. Except it's a little bit different when, when I gotta push a double pram. I've made like three or four videos this week that I've just, I just have not been happy with. Uh, I got pretty much all the way done editing them and I just, I wasn't happy enough with them. I didn't post them. You guys pick some flowers for mommy? She's gonna love them. Although she says those flowers stink, but that's all right. She'll like them. Like, I know there's that saying, it's better done than perfect. And I wholeheartedly agree. Whoa, curb. But sometimes you're just not really happy with what you made. Sometimes the story doesn't come together how you wanted it. I think that's a good way of knowing that you probably just need to take a step back, take a break, and fill your creative cup up again because when you're trying to just create, create content over and over again, all right, it, it becomes stale and you're just, you begin to not become proud of the work that you're posting. <laughs> Since I've been skating everywhere, my right calf has locked up because that's my kicking leg. Ah, it's getting kind of painful. All right, boys, we are home. So we've been stuck at home for about a week now because we haven't had a car. And that might be part of the reason why I haven't been super stoked out on the videos I've made lately. There hasn't been a lot of movement, a lot of energy, and a lot of, uh, well, you know, when you're, when you're going out and doing things, there's a lot more excitement to life. And when you're creating stuff, you, you want that excitement. Um, sure, you can't always have like the coolest videos. You can't always be doing something crazy, but simply just being able to go out and like have a car. I think a lot of us take, take cars for granted, um, especially if you live away from, you know, a lot of cool stuff. Like if you live in the middle of suburbia, you take it for granted because it allows you to go out and see new places and do new things. Therefore, like helping you feel a little bit more creative. Like, don't get me wrong, you could definitely still be creative at home. And if that's all you got, like if you're stuck at home and you wanna create, you should definitely create. I'm not saying don't create unless you're going somewhere epic. No, definitely create. I mean, that's why I'm making a video now because I wanna create something. But going out definitely does help those creative juices. Going out and exploring and adventuring and all that. And you know, since we're stuck here, simply just going out, going skating, pushing the boys in the pram, it's at least doing something, there's some movement. You gotta do something, it doesn't matter what circumstance you're in. You might be stuck in your little neighborhood, but you can still go for a walk, go around, and I don't know, try to explore new places. Or you can just be like David Goggins and run like 200 miles to the beach. Uh, we don't live 200 miles from the beach. Making you a sandwich right now. Got my wife this chair. This was supposed to be her reading chair, but I think uh, I think the kids and I have used it more than she has. <laughs> so kind of going back to what I was saying before, I don't really think it was only just being at home that affected these past few videos. I think a lot of it was just me overthinking it and not giving myself some time just to fill up my creative my creative cup again. But yeah, enough about that. We're here, we're here now, and we are creating, and that's what we're doing today. Does anybody's office ever look like this? It is such a mess right now. To be completely honest, I'm actually just trying to find out how I want the studio to look. I've been moving it around. There's just crap everywhere. Um, yeah, so I'm still kind of <laughs> trying to decide what I like. I feel like that's a constant struggle for a lot of creatives is setting up the perfect studio space. Um, this is a rental, so I can't really paint the walls because I, I do have an ideal I have a dream studio in my head, which one day I'll be able to manifest, but right now we're just in a rental place. So um, I think the only thing I'm really allowed to do is just hang up some photos, which currently still trying to hang up this photo over here, but we haven't had the proper hooks to hang it up. So yeah, been a, it's been a little project, a little work in progress. Chuck this light on. Ah, it's not even plugged in. There we go. How weird is the, the plugs here in Australia? Not used to that. Go. Stop. 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 Goose. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> okay, can we play it? 
I think a lot of people are under the impression that I have a lot of gear and like all the gear that I have listed below is either gear that I do have or that I've had or that I've used to some extent. Um, so the gear that I do have, I'm going for this minimalistic filmmaking kind of thing, it's starting to become like a, a trend it seems like. Um, got my ND filter, always need an ND filter. Got my RF 15 to 35, my Canon R6, my Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, which is all just sits in one package, like it's a camera rig, you know, a vlogging rig. Um, and then I got my drone. And uh, I think that's it. And my laptop to edit, of course. And I've got a hard drive. But that's the extent of my gear. Nothing exciting. <laughs> I did make uh, What's in My Camera Bag 2020 at the very beginning of this year and uh, you can watch that if you're interested. But things have pretty much drastically changed since that video, besides like the camera and the mic that I'm using. I've gotten rid of quite a bit of stuff. Uh, because I mean, this is all I really need. You, I, it's, it's just overkill to have a bunch of stuff. I think the only thing I really would like to add to my kit would be just another camera so I can have camera B uh, for behind the scenes stuff and Probably the RF 70 to 200, and I think I'll be sweet. I mean, I'm sweet already. Sweet as can be. I have a perfect rig, perfect setup for creating the content I need to create. But I mean, nice 70 to 200 would be kind of nice to get that nice compressed look. Also, I'd like to eventually uh, switch the Mavic Mini out for something like the Mavic Air 2 or something, but in due time, in due time. For now, it all works. I'm curious to see what my camera bag will look like in uh, the beginning of next year. Uh, 20, what year is it? It's 2021 right now, so 2022. I'm excited to see what my camera bag looks like then. Um, all right, anyways, moving on. Some people like to make B-roll sequences of coffee and other things, but today we're making a B-roll sequence of tacos. Stick? stick? What are you gonna do? Is that your hiking stick? Mm. Mm. What car are we gonna get if our car gets written off? <laughs> oh, anyone we can. <laughs> I was hoping like a, a Tesla or something. Look guys, it's corn. Australian corn. Australian corn. Mm, fresh from the bush. <laughs> A lot of YouTubers are riding either boosted boards or one wheels, but allow me to introduce a carver board. So with a carver board, it's not any motor or anything making the wheels spin or anything. It's, it's like a normal skateboard. However, the trucks are different. It essentially rides like a surfboard. If you just pump it, you can keep going without actually having to kick. And it's a good core workout as well. So what allows this board to pump really well is the trucks. And I believe they're called, uh, they're exclusive to Carver, the Carver CX trucks, I think. Um, they, they have two different types of trucks, but essentially they both ride like a surfboard. Um, I think these trucks are able to uh, turn a little bit deeper, a little bit sharper than uh, the other trucks, which are called C7s. But essentially um, the board is what you would call like a surf skate it's like essentially you're surfing on land so if you're riding a wave you'd be pumping down the line and uh, that's essentially the same thing with this except instead of pumping down the line you're pumping down the street um, it's also a great exercise for surfing and I personally believe it improves your surfing as well plus it's a great way just to get around from point A to point B not saying a uh, one wheel or a boosted board isn't good because I'm sure those are a lot of fun, but this is what I got and I love it. I've always loved carver boards. I've been using them for over 10 years now, I believe. God, yeah, probably 10 years. And uh, I haven't been able to surf recently, so this has been a good substitute for surfing. I'll probably make a dedicated video of this board in the future. I mean, it's just, 
I love it so much. It's been, uh, it's been probably my main transportation my whole life. Probably even more so than a car. Yeah, it deserves its own video.